All right, it is toy haul time once again today. I have a Hot Wheels toy haul for you guys. Um, my last Hot Wheels video was the D case. <clears throat> I was waiting for the E case, but what came is the F case and the G case. Doesn't matter because the F case has the E case except the treasure hunts. So I'll have to get that at a hobby shop. Anyway, so here, here are the cars I picked up from the E case, F case, and G case of 2016 Hot Wheels basic car sort. Um, okay, I, I don't know which one's the E or F, or I do know the G, but um, the E and the F, they're all mixed up because I, we just got the F case. So, <clears throat> let's get right to it. First up, the Grass Chomper, uh, which actually fits a Lego figure. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, we'll let I'll, I'll probably let Alex and Danny open this one up. I thought it was pretty neat, pretty cool, interesting car. Uh, metal body, plastic body. I think it's a plastic body. It's pretty light, but metal base. So we put a figure there. This one I actually wanted, really wanted. This is one's for me, but I want to give it to Alex and Danny. The Tank Nader. I thought this was pretty cool. Yeah, why don't we just open it up now? I'll show you guys. <clears throat> we can hang on to this. The Grass Chomper. Yep. Oh, plastic base. And plastic body. Which one's... Oh, this one's metal. The one in the middle is metal. It's die cast. The steering wheel and that middle part is metal. This one's plastic. This one is... Is plastic. Definitely. This one's plastic. Nice set of wheels, though. Yeah, so pretty cool. I, I like this car actually. This one is the Tank Nader. We'll open it. One, we'll open it up as well. This one, no, I don't think a Lego will fit in there. If you watch the Race Grooves video, no, definitely not. Uh, it's not gonna fit that Lego figure in that. Maybe it can hold or something like that, but I doubt. I doubt if it will fit in there because it's just this is just way too small. Maybe it will. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think so. Nice wheels though. Very nice. Like Batmobile wheels. Okay. <clears throat> Gazella. It's Gazelle's car. This one's really nice. This one I'm going to let Danny and Alex open up. It's really nice. I think it's a fantasy car. I don't think it's a real car. If you watch, um, if you watched Zootopia, <laughs> this would really be a nice car for Gazella. For Gazelle. And this one I was on the fence with. I'm not really into these uh, New Year cars anymore. Year of the Monkey Zodiac year cars. I'm probably end up selling some of my other cars. Year of the Snake. Year of the except for the Year of the Dragon. But this one, I thought it was. You know, I bought it for the card, not so much for the car. Um, it's not a treasure hunt. It's just the commemorative car for the year for 2016 because it is a leap year. And as such, they, they did it like it's a leaping, a leaping car, for a leap year car. So, 29, February 29, a leap year will have 29 days for February. It's kind of interesting, it's kind of a bit of a novelty, but I, I don't think it's worth a lot of money over time. But I thought it was interesting. <clears throat> Free color, uh, the reverse color for the 13 Chevrolet, Chevrolet Copo, Copo Camaro. Um, First version was done in orange with the black tampos. Now it's done in black with the orange tampos. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> this one, big fan of the Greenwood Corvette, 76 Greenwood Corvette. Uh, yeah, I thought this was really nice. I think the decos on it were really nice. Very, very nice. 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the white is a little bit too flat. I, w I wished it were more the pearlesque type of white. But it's flat, glossy white with some tampos on it. Not too bad. <clears throat> Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. New for 2016. There you go, 2015. Very nice. Very nice. Nice tampos. Not too bad. Kind of looks like the Honda S2000, but very, very nice. <clears throat> Tesla Model S, second color or third color. <laughs> I can't keep track anymore. Yeah, silver, red, and it's the third one, blue. This one actually I think is the nicest one. Deep blue color. 
I love I love my Lambos. Everybody knows that. Um, I like Lamborghinis, uh, diecast Lamborghini cars more than the Ferraris. This one's nice. The Urus. The orange is a little bit of a deep orange. Not the. I just wish it were more glittery rather than just flat, glossy orange. Okay. What else? Another recolor of a previous model. This was 20, 2006. An older car, but I do love this. Uh, flat black. I'm not a big fan of these matte colors on real cars, but on the die cast cars, they look really nice. The Porsche Carrera GT. Second color, third color, I think, for the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Very nice. Get that mint. McLaren P1. Very nice. I think I like this one the best of all the colors. <clears throat> Morris Mini. Yeah, I picked it up because it was a it was a Mini. Morris Mini. The tempos they're okay. Art cars. Uh, two multicolored wheels. Eh, I'm not too fond of this one. This one is nice. I think it turned out great. The seventy Ford Escort. Escort RS sixteen hundred. Lots of great tempos on it. Very nice. Yeah, I think this one turned out great. And I'm sure a lot of collectors are going to be after this one. The custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. Kmart will have the white version. Regular issue is this uh, mint green. Pistachio green, mint green version. Not really a big fan of it, but it is a Volks, Volkswagen. Um, Volkswagen. W. <laughs> so I guess, I, I guess it, it's, it's okay. I think it will spell out HW Art Cars. This one I really liked, um, except when, when Bond dumped it in the water. The Aston Martin DB10, absolutely phenomenal. I, I thought this was a great car, um, but he had to dunk it in the water, in the drink. And, uh, you know, if you watched the episode on Jay Leno's Garage, they talked about this car. It was really built for the movie. There's no hood. The only way to access the engine is by if you lift up the body and the under chassis down. Um, it was made in, in a very short span of time. A very, very nice car for a super spy. And uh, it was a great episode on Jay Leno's Garage, and I thought it was great. <clears throat> the Porsche 993 GT2. This was okay. Uh, I thought it was a great casting. Metal spoiler. Very, very nice. Yeah. <clears throat> This one I bought a couple because I wanted to give Alex and Danny one of these because of the flip up and down spoiler or lower fin. Uh, you can flip it up and down if you wanted to race it on the track. I thought it was pretty nice. I want to keep one. Definitely keeping one. Uh, yeah, I'll probably let them open up this one. Yeah, we'll keep it. <clears throat> the Ford F-150. This one is 2015, which is a recolor. I think this one is new. I'm not mistaken, the F-115 Raptor 2017, definitely a new model. It looks really great. I'm sure the real car looks phenomenal. This one, I like this one. This one's a little bit too long for me. I think this one is just right. Nice size, nice height. Very good. Oh, it's an error. Is it? Yep. Oh, look at that. I am so not opening up this one. Look at that. A little bit of chipping on the fender or misalignment. Hmm, interesting. Might have to get another one just to open it up, just to see. This one's nice. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have the treasure hunt for the uh, the e the D case, which is the forward. I haven't gotten it. It's probably I'm probably gonna get it at a hobby shop as well as the E case. The F case. I did get treasure hunts though. I got the. Uh, Mountain Mauler. And I, I thought the tempos, decorations were very good, but it's just a crappy car on hindsight. And there you go. There's the, I'll show you the Circle Flame logo. I think it's on both sides. We'll see. And there you go. There's one there. And the other one's right there. Great colors for a crappy car. We need a regular treasure hunt. Okay, um, 
for the, well, let me show you the other cars I did pick up. I picked up a bunch of Batmobiles. See, these were like in the F case and the G cases. Um, very, very cool. I, I've been waiting for this one. I have now half the mind to actually buy the, um, the one that's so expensive, like the $10 version. $9, $10 version, the one with the Batman, Batman Begins artwork, the whole Batman series. Because that one has the regular tire, the it has the just the silver tires, silver rim tires. This one has red tires. I, uh, I'm not sure I like the red one. The It looks okay. The redeco of the camo. I mean, re the red windshield is, uh, I live with it. But the red rims, it just attracts so much attention. I think the silver ones might be more generic. Um, but you'll have to pay about nine dollars, ten dollars to get that one. I might get it. I don't know. I'll think about it. But but it looks really nice. Look at that, great tumbler. One of my my second favorite uh, Batmobile. My first one definitely was the Michael Keaton Batmobile. Batman, the first Michael Keaton. This one's nice. Okay. <clears throat> now for the F case. I was just interested in three cars. This was the first one, the Combat Medic, because it has a lot of metal, and I love the artworks. It spells A. I think it spells HW Art Cars, or HW Art, H, because we have W for the Volkswagen, and this one is the A. We'll probably we'll just need the H and the R and the T. I don't know. I could be wrong. So, HW Art. Yeah, I'll let Alex and Danny open that one up. <clears throat> Renault Sports. Renault uh, Sport RS01. I thought this was in the F case. I was looking frantically for it in the F cases but apparently it's a G case I made a mistake and it's really really nice it's looking fantastic I absolutely love this car I'm not a big fan of Renault but I love this I love the way it turned out I think um, oh sorry just to show you this oh what was that just to show you that again the treasure hunt cars will have that logo right there regular treasure hunt and this one, oh my goodness, look at that. I love the yellow on it, it's like a canary yellow. Uh, nice black tempos, eh, faster than ever wheels, but I think they pinned well enough, They're that dark gray finish. I thought it was pretty cool. Very, very nice. And look at that, they molded that thing, Renault, on, this, on the fender, on the, on the wing, on the spoiler. Last regular car I did pick up from the G case. Uh, the Ford Shelby Cobra Concept, just three. Combat Medic, the Renault, and the Ford Shelby Cobra Concept. I think I had this in silver, but um, I picked up two because I wanted to open up the other one. And, and I did notice something. If you notice it in the camera, this one is a lighter green. This one is a deeper metallic green. It's a little bit of a variation. I think they just put too much paint on this one. So I am keeping this one mint, but I'm opening up this one for you guys so you can see. Wow, very, very nice, very solid looking car. Wow. Does the hood open up? No, nothing opens up, but love it. Love the tires they used for this one, windshield. Look at that, very, very nice color. Lime green on deep green, very, very nice. Well done, well done, Mattel. Last car I'm gonna show you is the regular treasure hunt for the G case, the MIG rig. It's done in chrome. We'll keep one in mint condition and we'll put the other one for you guys. <clears throat> there we go. Very, very cool. Super chromes. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera stand. Speed shop. Very nice, the MIG rig. It's a nice car. But it's just a lot of plastic. This one's metal, this one's plastic. So that's a regular treasure hunt, as you can see. Circle Fling logo, focus on that. There you go. All right. And there you go, folks. That's my 2016 EFG case basic Hot Wheels haul for this month of February 2016. Hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.